Hi everyone. This time I'm not on my way to work, <laughs> but I'm the way. I'm on the way to do something, and I, I want to. I want to talk about the Russell issue. I don't call it disappearance anymore. I don't know actually what to call it because um, yesterday I received a lot of messages and also messages that people wrote on the YouTube videos as comments and but they were not in uh, in and um, they were out of sync with uh, Lyudmila's information because you have the Miss Simonova from RT as a source, as a reliable source, saying that he's dead. Sputnik News has already issued that news, also published those news. But the strange thing is that they give no details whatsoever. I checked the pro-Ukrainian sources. There are plenty of outlets now, but it's just, I mean, it's just, it's obnoxious. It's, uh, I mean, they, they copy paste the news from RT, for example, and then they add like uh, judgments about Russell and a lot of adjectives which just to you know just to denigrate uh, Russell's image which I think it's uh, I mean it represents whoever who does that whoever does that it really represents what kind of person it is and what kind of people like that right so I I still have a hard time to believe it. it's still I mean not all, only from the news but I spoke with friends in Russia and they all they all I mean they all say they're pretty sure he's dead I I took the video that I've made yesterday in Russian uh, because I think it was uh, already outdated and uh, at the same point uh, I didn't want to... there were there was not complete certainty about this issue about this brigade this or that brigade or this or that unit so it is not good also to spread rumors I decided to take it out. Uh, I mean, I understand why Lyudmila was advancing this information. She's she's desperate. She's she feels big anguish, and uh, I feel her pain. And there is. I know some of you will I mean I also read some very nasty comments on my videos that I really didn't have the time to erase yet or I don't know if I will erase them delete them because uh, it's it's also good for the people to see what kind of people we have in this world the, the ones that support democracy and freedom right see what kind of upbringing this kind of people have so like Lyudmila I also maintain my last reserve of hope for only one reason as Lyudmila says she hasn't seen the body nor any remains and uh, while there are not, while there is not solid proof, even if everyone is sure that he's dead, as long as you don't have, you don't produce a body, remains, something solid proof is missing. And for me, it's missing too. So, 
of course I know it maybe it takes some sort of a miracle for suddenly oh some misunderstanding went on and Russell is released or something like this it's comforting to think that but I don't know so yeah uh, but I'm not I'm not making any early eulogies I have a lot of today I was um, I dedicated part of my morning to to watch videos and pictures that I've taken in Donetsk and that I've made while I was with Russell and a lot of I've published my vlog a lot of things but I've I have a ton more that I haven't published you know you always overshoot in order to select when you want to make a video or something in order to select the scenes for your video you always you need 10 videos to pick one right so that's the kind of material I have more uh, I don't know at some point I will start publishing in the memory of Russell I right now I'm I don't know I, I the information did not sink in yet with me because the circumstances of the disappearing of the disappearing are very 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 strange very mysterious and like I've said in previous videos there are many possible options and sometimes the, the, the true option the one that really happened might be an accident something like this something very unexpected something that was made up on the scene due to some trigger that we don't know of but I have the feeling that if the head of RT, RT News and Sputnik which uh, Russell was a, a journalist for a reporter for if they know if they already released things about it I think the rest of the truth is just a matter of time to surface and uh, I'm waiting for the official declarations to take my final conclusions I spoke I made my last live stream with Russell about three weeks ago you can if you want to check I have about four or five I don't know I, I have some live streams with Russ with Russell made with Russell uh, if you want to go to my channel to YouTube go check it out or some other channels have good stuff too and uh, there are today I was looking at uh, watching a video that I've made while one of the times we went to Petrovsky to feed Busi Busi is the short for Businka it's a female cat that lives in his house in Petrovsky they left her there because it was her grounds but they go there often to to feed her and in one of these videos I uh, I noticed that uh, Russell ha had uh, his Makarov pistol in his holster in his leg and I asked him why the other days he didn't bring his pistol and he answered oh I did bring it but it was on my bag because I had sent my holster to the shop to costumize and then he's, he goes on explaining why he carries his pistol all the time to avoid situations like not to avoid being captured but to avoid being tortured hopefully it could also avoid capture but the main goal was to avoid being tortured I don't know if it, 
his Makarov pistol played a role or not in his defense. But he had that concern. That's a fact. See you on the next one.